everyone, and welcome to our special Visions 2015, a celebration of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We are at the Shofuso Japanese House in Fairmount Park, and the gardens, the azaleas here are in full glorious bloom. We'll show you around in a few minutes. The Japanese get credit for the kimono. The history and art of this traditional garment is just one of the many things you can learn about here at the Shofuso House and Garden. The Shofuso House was a gift to the American people from the Japanese government in 1955. What a wonderful, long-standing symbol of our friendship. It is. It's the embodiment of friendship between Philadelphia and Japan. The house was built using traditional Japanese materials and techniques, but its architecture isn't the only thing you'll notice. What you're struck by is the garden outside the walls. With beautiful azaleas and peonies in full bloom, visitors are invited to explore the grounds. This season we have our koi feeding platform open, so kids can walk right down to the water's edge and feed our koi. They also host exhibitions about ikebana, the Japanese art of flower arranging, as well as traditional tea ceremonies. Tea ceremony, a flower arrangement, it comes together with kimono. It's inseparable in that sense. And kimono classes allow women and young girls to discover the centuries-old tradition. I mean, this is called a kimono. Kimono, it's a special Japanese dress. I think this is another way to pass down the kimono culture outside of Japan. Kimono, translated literally, means a thing to wear. And a traditional silk kimono is handmade and ornately designed. The painting is called yuzen, a Japanese painting. It is an expression of art. An authentic kimono can cost well over $30,000. And the timeless garments are passed down through the generations. So we can wear your mother's, our grandmother's kimonos now, and it looks just perfect fine. Yeah, like this one is probably 100 years because wow. my mother was wearing. And learning how to wear the kimono is an art in itself. These things you don't even notice. Everything has a rule, and there's a certain way to do this. Students take four 90-minute classes to learn how to navigate the intricacies of the process. It's a bit of a dance, isn't it? It's beautiful. Each piece is both functional and symbolic. The belt, known as an obi, signifies a woman's marital status. Our marriage is flower oh. decoration. Once marriage, this way. It's a process that, even when mastered, can't be rushed. So you have to put aside an hour to dress yourself in a kimono properly. Yeah. It's a long time. Right. But for many, it's an important way to connect with their culture. American students also, or Japanese children, young ladies, they wear, they feel, gee, I'm Japanese. I'm here in America, but still I'm Japanese. There are camps here throughout the summer where kids can learn about everything from sushi to the samurai. Now, our thanks to the Shofuso Japanese House and Garden for hosting us. It really is one of Philadelphia's gems, considered one of the best Japanese gardens in all of North America. Thanks for joining us, and good night, everyone.